game week. Game week. They've been working hard for this this time, and you know now we get to finally go and see what uh see what our work has has proven to what our work you know has how we compete against other people. You know I know we've done a lot of good things and they're working hard and they're giving us a lot of effort, but now we only get we only get a few times to get to play together where it means something. And, this will be a good test for us. Uh, I think us, like just between all the players, the communication that we have and the love we have for each other, that brotherhood, uh, just wanting to play for one another, playing for the guy next to you. So I think if we have that, we'll, we can win any game. I think we're, we're keeping the same intensity. I think, um, you know, it feels good that we finally get a chance to uh, hit somebody else instead of uh, each other. But um, I think everybody's excited and can't wait to play already. Well, Colorado State's uh, prolifically been one of the better teams offensively. Like the last two years of Coach Bobo, they've been you know, near top 20 in the country in just about every offensive category. So it'll be a big challenge for us. I think the kids are ready for it. They're excited to uh, play somebody different. they got good talent at running back. they got good talent at wide receiver. Um, you know, the quarterback's kind of, he's a new one, but you know, he's played some Pac-12 games. Um, so I'm sure you know, as a grad transfer, you're, you're, he's matured to the point where he understands this is a great opportunity for him. Um, I expect him, you know, I don't, I don't know where Bobo is with his health um, as of late, but I know that's probably inspiring them to play a little bit for their head coach. Um, that'll be a good challenge. I'm excited to see the stadium and excited to see kind of the environment that stadium has created at that school. Yeah, I mean, they've been very balanced, you know. You look at the explosion plays they had in the run game last year and the efficiency that they run the ball. And then in the throwing game, uh, the quarterback has always been efficient. They're pretty low in terms of turnover margin. So it's about getting them uncomfortable and us executing our scheme and, and being able to get them in a third down and then, and then getting off the field on third down will be important. Uh, Got to limit the explosion plays as always. And then it comes down early in the season in particular, it comes down to you know, getting off blocks and tackling. I'm very confident that they will be prepared for all situations. Um, now it's about making plays. Uh, I think Corey and the whole defensive staff has really done a nice job preparing these guys, um, being very uh, efficient with the time we're allotted, uh, and getting the most out of, out of training camp and meetings and, and walkthroughs. So uh, I, I think they should feel confident with the system after spring and this fall camp. I think, you know, we've been training a lot with uh, spring ball, and then over the summer we did a lot of player run practices. So I think. You know, everybody everybody trusts the defense. Everybody's ready to go, and I, we're just, we just trust, trust uh, whatever platoon calls. Well, I think that the preparation has matched, you know, kind of our expectation. They've had a great summer. We've talked about that a couple of times. And uh, the, the, the workmanship that they come out here and practice, the attention to detail that they've shown, uh, we're very encouraged right now.